Welcome to all Aquarians and people under the influence of Aquarius. I hope you brought your bucket of water because I'm about to spit some messages from Tarot. And I might get a little bit thirsty. Uh, I think what's happening this week is we're going to go into a mid-month reading to cover two weeks. Um, just because I have that feeling like the, it's a short month and March 1st will be upon us early. And I want to make sure the energy has time to clear before we start uh, into the March monthly readings. Um, plus, I'm a pretty busy guy. So um, we're going to look at uh, the last two weeks of February for Aquarius here. What are the messages for Aquarius for the last two weeks of February. I might be able to sneak another weekly in, but I don't think so. So we're asking for two weeks, Tarot. Two weeks. Okay, hope you're all well. Hope you're all taking good care of yourselves and the people out there around you that you love. That's what I like to see from everybody, especially you guys, because you're really good at that. You got so much care, so much love. Oh, and so many options too. We got a seven of cups here in the overall energy. Um, it could mean that you might be in a situation where you could have made a decision uh, too abruptly or too quickly. Now you're kind of left thinking about what was left out. Um, or this, for some of you, if this hasn't occurred yet, is showing to take your time before uh, proceeding on one option A or option B. So overall energy, pretty good card. It means like life is always full of abundance. You don't ever really have to have that feeling of lack. Pick your dreams and, and go for them kind of thing. We'll leave that over there to the left. My left, your right. Uh, I think it... It is how it presents over the interweb. But we'll get back to that later. Oh, wow. Here, the grounding position, you have the star card. So some lofty goals, some lofty aspirations here for you guys closing out February. God sense maybe you are into some uh, hot, new, passionate situations um, that surrounded Valentine's Day or earlier this month. Uh, you guys are having a good month surrounding your birthdays. Um, I see a lot of you maybe uh, receive some gifts that are now allowing you to proceed um, in some other endeavors that were pretty important to you. So something acted as a catalyst here in order to like kind of springboard an idea into reality. Um, as far as actual grounding goes, not too bad. There might be a little bit of risk in acting too quickly or hastily. Um, surrounding travel, I got a sense you guys want to kind of uh, make sure everything's in order before you set out on any kind of journeys here for the last two weeks. And this might be like in regards to like um, passports in order, automobiles in check, uh, things like that. Because it shows like paths further away. Like you see it like this person here is like really beautiful and in a place of beauty. But there's no like structure around them. There's no like safe haven, so to speak. It's all kind of like... Um, it could be pretty rocky if she was like to leave that place. So that's just a sense I got for grounding. Just, just be cautious with travel. I'm not saying don't go. I'm just saying be cautious. We've got the, the moon reversal in creativity, um, here. I see a lot of projects delayed. This might be due to environmental factors, uh, such as weather, uh, and such as resources perhaps coming in, uh, kind of waiting like payday to payday in order to get some tools. It's good that you got this gift, I think, for some of you in a way, because creatively moving forward, I feel some of you are like waiting for the time or the money to get some things going, or that some projects, I think you had this last week too, maybe not this card, but this feeling that projects were just kind of stagnant or had to be left sort of half, in half. So I see that continuing here, um, and we'll see if we can get any movement on it. Some of this might be like truly environmental factors. Like some of you might be waiting for spring to do you like your favorite activity here. It's kind of growing heavy on your mind or whatever. And you're like thinking about it, kind of dreaming about it quite a bit or, or only being able to like get as far as the planning stage and then like having to wait on like other people or the environment around you to like be more conducive to to actually making it happen. So that's what I get from that card in place of uh, your creative centers. Oh, Eight of Cups here in, uh, in the gut instinct or the solar plexus. So this is a bit of a bigger energy even in a pip card. We've got major, major and heavy hitting pip uh, in Eight of Cups saying that some of you are, are in some situations here. Could go back to this. I get, I'm picking up relationships again uh, where one of you might uh, be still thinking about an ex even though you, now you might be sleeping with somebody else. Um, that kind of feeling, but like nothing's been communicated to like either partner, 
Um, but you're almost showing that you're almost ready to do that in this Eight of Cups. You're almost ready to like finally like break away from something. Um, but you like made the decision to do so. You just haven't like taken any action yet. Um, this shows great times ahead as well. This Eight of Cups. Um, it shows a bit of a rocky path, but it does show great times ahead. You just have to be willing to be uh, flexible, I guess is the, wor the word that I'm looking for, in that solar plexus area to do what feels right and actually like have that strength to follow your gut instinct. Uh, for some of you, this is definitely relationships. Um, she got the bile in there, so this could go back to creativity. So if this wasn't for some of you environmental factors holding you up on creative projects, this could be like your own drive, like your own initiative uh, to actually like uh, get the discipline uh, down and rooted in and up into that uh, solar plexus to actually like get it done. As well, health comes up in this card for me. Some of you, uh, probably if you're feeling a little bit lackadaisical or lethargic, um, let's get those core muscles uh, really like working and toned up and then everything else will follow. Okay, A of Cups in Solar Plexus. Then uh, Five of Pentacles reversed in um, the Sacred Heart um, area. So wow, this one speaks to uh, a lot of self-love issues. This one uh, is really kind of saying like, let's, uh, let's be true to ourselves here and let's get in touch with ourselves um, because I see like environmental stuff kind of shaping up to be like new or ending or breaking or starting. So this is a good time to make sure that there's a balance of self-love before we're going to, into any sort of like deeper feelings for our partner. Now, and for those of you that are coupled up and already have deep feelings for one another, if you're feeling stuck or blocked, this is showing to like check in with yourself um, in terms of like, okay, I want to make sure that like there's no like low self esteems out there and then it's kind of like spilling over onto partnerships type things of those kind of energies. This card reverse like pentacles, the five pentacles usually speaks to like how you're how secure you're feeling. But when it comes up in a heart position, this is like self esteem, self security, right? Um, are you comfortable in your own thoughts? Are you comfortable in your own skin? Do you owe anybody apology? That kind of thing. Or has somebody been distant from you and you're like really in your air sign ways just wanting to like reach out and be like, yo, Jimmy, what, what's wrong? Or, you know, hey, Susan, like what, what is it? Well, like, why don't, why aren't we getting along? Right. But you might just have to like check in with yourself and let that person be for a little bit um, before we're seeing like uh, things that are kind of conflicting in the heart. If you've got that, if everything seems straightforward and you're kind of more in like analytical and passion chasing, this one just shows here to just, uh, you know, make sure that you're really comfortable um, and surrounding yourself with comfort because it could actually go back to money. Some of you might be overspending on projects that are still like only in a planning stage and they might turn out a little bit unnecessary. So that that's what's there in Five Pentacles Reverse. And now we've got uh, Personal Truth. Oh, goodness. And the cleanup hitter comes to bat here in the emperor in your personal truth. Do it. Speak it. Say what's on your mind. If this card message in your heart was like saying, oh, let that person just be for a little bit if you're not sure, I don't think you're going to be able to do that. Some of you might, but this kind of trumps it. Like not Donald trumps it. This is like uh, like two of clubs trumps it. This is like two of wands, like going forward, move progression energy here in this, this emperor. He's saying, um, you know... You are on top. You are, you are your truth. Like you are your own way. You have these set uh, prerogatives and goals and missions and, you know, accomplishments already under your belt that have given you an impeccable amount of strength and security. This is really interesting. What I saw here now is being completely trumped by what's coming in one chakra above here. It could also act as a bit of a warning, saying that there's a risk of speaking in overconfidence and coming across to others as a little bit arrogant. So if you worry about that kind of thing, I would take some caution. But if you don't really care, like if you are in a position of like authority or like needing to like direct people and get things done, it's saying like use your voice authoritatively and uh, the direction will come clear and almost like the people around you see what you're after and will like... Uh, help you out with that 
This, I think, goes more so without warning and stuff to like people that are closest to you, like your closest partners. It might be time to like settle this energy a bit so you're not coming off as like as unapproachable or people just saying like, I can't keep up to this person. They're they're made they're out of my league. They're they're above they're above what I can do. So why am I going to, you know, that kind of thing? So um, really good, really positive card. Uh, but again, uh, proceed with caution because we're coming up uh, from this step here as well. Uh, this guy's got the world at his feet and the universe at his elbows, right? Um, and she's be, she's able to see the big picture here. So the warning I think in this is if you're going too far out of what you know uh, in these last two weekends, and this is speaking to people that are taking longer business trips. This is talking to people that are going to places they've never been before. It's still pr saying that proceed with caution. As you see this red and blue, whoop, whoop. Like, it, don't don't get into any trouble. Make sure all your T's are dotted and your I's are crossed, so to speak, before you, like, like are traveling abroad to foreign countries. That's just what's coming through. So, I don't know why. I don't know why. But I told you. Okay, two of cups. Now, I said two of clubs energy with this end, but then we got two of hearts here, two of cups. So, again, uh, speaking to more of the emotional side, and this comes back here, eight of cups in your gut instinct. I do feel that some of you Aquarians are really into something brand new and cool with a person that really, like, ignites with you and passion, and then there's passion involved. Um, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily sleeping together right now, but this could be romance, this is dating, this is, like, taking time to, like, go and walk your dogs to together. This could be a neighbor. I want to make sure um, as well that for some of you, um, you're pretty true with what's going on with yourself before proceeding here. This is vision questing. There could be like uh, some of you like with somebody in your mind and like just like desiring them a lot in your thoughts. Not really obsessing, but this is more so just like desire. But you're not feeling it quite throughout your being yet. It's just more of like... a a headstrong energy like you think about them a lot and you wish you had more time together or you are thinking of ways to impress this person uh so to speak when maybe some checking in with yourself um is going to lead to just a little bit more like stable energy around it two of cups is a really great card to have in this vision questing it shows that a lot of you um are moving in the right direction i just want to make sure that the heart's in the right place and I think you're just receiving external blessings from source energy of the universe at this time with this two of cups uh, being here. So really accept your benefits graciously and with gratuity and uh, everything should work out really fine relationship wise with you guys. I'm really liking these cards. They're bombers, so to speak. All right. Oh, and then crown energy, five of wands. Wow. Okay. So the competitive nature of what's coming down on the crown and this to me speaks of like probably for many many of you uh a future future block or a future conflict i, I get more so these these majors warning here of saying you know what to do and it goes back already to what i said in this emperor of be wary of like uh promoting your own agenda at the risk of like others like just kind of getting fed up with you so to speak but it shows like if this is in your control. This is in your wheelhouse. So you, if you, if you want, if you don't mind pissing these people off, like if you don't care, you're pissing these people off, and you're ready to accept the karma for that. If it's not too heavy, it's saying that you won't run into too much trouble, and that you have a strong chance of being victorious here in this situation, because what you've got going on underneath you is very strong um, for a future conflict. And it goes back to what I said here. You might really be wanting to get to the root of uh, some things where you have that sense that people are like kind of dismayed with you or or you haven't been getting along with someone so well and they might actually truly uh, have a bit of bee in their bonnet over uh, something that happened or, or maybe they're just, you know, like I said with this card, they're just feeling like you're out of their league, like you're way more creative, you're way more driven than this person ever could be. Um, so that they're just, you know, kind of wanting to be like, well, I don't want to spend too much time with that person because they're promoting their own agenda and might kind of leave you wondering. It might, uh, for some of you, I almost got the feeling here, this eight of cups, two of cups to five of wands is saying that you're, you might be like ready to like get rid out of some social circles and enter into some new ones that are better promoting the people surrounding you. Okay. 
and that's future. That's what's coming down from the universe. So I see maybe some change up, some switch up of the friendships and the social circles going going on around you. And that could go back to here, this options, deciding who are the people in your life that are best suited to, to connect with you, um, really. And it's showing that this is more so your option. Um, for those mature listeners, uh, I just want to kind of give a quick warning uh, not to be like too quick-tongued um, and overly judgmental with new people that you meet because you might be uh, like moving too quickly on that and like giving bad first impressions is what I gotta say and then you could be missing out you could like be missing out on something very cool there okay that so that's just a little bit of a warning but overall these cards are really good for you Aquarius um, and I didn't even get thirsty uh, giving this reading so when my th throat chakra stays wide open and moist I know that uh, oh, so no some of you don't like that word uh, when my throat chakra stays wide open and like well quenched then I know that the messages are ringing true for a lot of you. And I'm really glad you took the time in to view. Uh, you can give a thumbs up or thumbs down. Um, just the time you spend here with me today is really what means so much to me on the inside. I hope you all have a wonderful week. And yeah, I'm going to see you again, uh, maybe with a new spread. A lot of people are connecting with the structures of these chakra readings. So I might keep it the same for the monthlies. I don't know which direction we're going to go. But do check in here um, in the next couple of weeks here for the March monthly readings. And and uh, once again, uh, I hope you are all in the best of health, joy, love, and abundance. Bye-bye, Aquarius.